Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for EU4 as we continue our run here with Raid. Uh, still, obviously, a, uh, a subsidiary of the uh, Khmer here. Um, I've never played as a, a vassal before, so it's a little bit different, a little bit unusual. Uh, if uh, Dai Viet was not still a tributary of Ming, we'd be going after them. I'll be honest, we would definitely be going after them. Part of me wonders... If I shouldn't go after them anyway, just to pull Khmer in and weaken Khmer, <laughs> but that would probably be a really bad idea. Um, but it's just, yeah, we're kind of in a weird situation. I've never, never played this way before. I had no idea, no idea what we're supposed to actually do. <laughs> so I'm just going to play the game, pretend like we're not. At least we're safe because, you know, for the most part, because we've got these guys protecting us. We don't even have to have a military right now, but it's definitely unusual. Uh, military technology... Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to look up idea groups. Um, I kind of forgot to look up. I need to be right back. Let me go look up some idea groups and see what would be best for our current situation. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I actually didn't. I, I remembered. I actually had looked it up at the end of uh, last time, but I just forgot that I had. Uh, I think something that we're going to be going for, and it's going to be a little bit weird maybe at first, is is an idea group related to, unfortunately, none of our, none of our ideas that we have will help us with this, but an idea group related to getting just better mercenaries, because I think mercenaries might be the best way for us to dig ourselves out of the hole, man. We want to get an economy going, and we want mercenaries that we can pay for. So that's kind of the direction we're probably going to be going. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones... I mean, obviously, mercenary ideas would make a lot of sense. Uh, which ones group with mercenary ideas? Um, they give us a really good... I mean, there's Mercenary Tactical Deployment Act, which is under uh, which it combines with infrastructure ideas, uh, which would be good underneath the administration. Uh, that would give us mercenary discipline. Uh, there's also administrative ideas, which would give us mercenary maintenance, cheaper mercenary maintenance. Um, court ideas under the diplomacy would give us uh, cheaper mercenary cost. Yeah, I think we're going to go something mercenary related. Now, we're, we're going to start with the military one. I feel like that's the one that makes the most sense right now um but long term oh infrastructure ideas why does it say military under infrastructure ideas is that is that mean the resulting act is a military type related thing maybe that's what that means but we do need infrastructure ideas to be able to build that up and infrastructure would be a good one for us as well because it would help us get a little bit more uh money make things cheaper um Maybe not a lot, actually. There's not a ton here, to be fair. Construction time. I don't know how much that would help. will help us. Uh, what about administrative? More advisors, core creation. We're not doing a lot of cores right now. Honestly, we don't want to be taking some of these just to make the mercenaries stronger, which is kind of the direction we're going to be potentially going here. So I think we're going to take mercenary ideas because I don't think we're going to really have a way to, um, to do anything otherwise. We're not going to be able to break out of our current situation with our own forces. So... Let's go with this. I mean, it seems a little bit strange, maybe, but uh, we have unlocked the mercenary idea group. We can invest in a new idea. Yeah, we know that. Uh, mercenary cost being cheaper. We don't need mercenary cost right this second, so maybe we don't need to go right into this. I don't know. I mean, tolerance of the true faith going up doesn't... None of these up here really help us, to be perfectly honest. We'd really only be going through this to get to the end, to get all the different things along the way. Is that better than going into military? I think it's better than going into military while military is still a bit expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this. Why not? What are we going to do otherwise? Go ahead and pick up a couple of these ideas. Make our missionaries cheaper. Um, military advisor cost is cheaper. Okay, you know what? Not. And we'll go into that. We'll get us a little bit of that going for us. Uh, again, we can now get us a military advisor at a cheaper cost if we wanted to. Which would help us get more of those military things. But I think this is too expensive for what we want to do. Uh, because even though it would give us a military skill point, we don't have a lot of gold coming in right now. Uh, right now, our biggest thing is we want to build some, start building some temples and things. So we will be going that route. Uh, innovations is, inventiveness is decreasing. Our neighbors are more technologically advanced than us, causing our innovativeness to change by, okay, well, that's not great. But because we don't have the military technology six, really? You're up five, five, and five. 
You're at five, five, and five. So wh which neighbor is more technologically advanced than us? I mean, is it just the uh, the diplomacy not being capped uh, at five yet? Maybe that's all it is. Once we get the diplomacy to five, hopefully that will go away. Uh, disloyal states in our country. Well, yeah, we know about that. That's not a big problem. We can seize land. We can sell titles. We have uncontested claims. We, don't, we can't do anything about that. All right, I think we're just going to unpause. We're going to go ahead and speed through here. Really not much for us to do at this point in time. Eventually, I'm hoping we can get enough money to kind of... Oh, wow. We just got a gift from our friends. Well, that's awesome. Well, we definitely want to try and go into... Uh, I don't think we're going to do a marketplace. I think what we want to do is literally a temple. It's not a lot, but the one in raid will be a point, point two three more. I mean, that's that's something at least. We'll definitely build that one up. And keep pushing up where we can. Lose some innovativeness. Uh, get some local unrest or gain some innovativeness. Lose some prestige and local unrest. I don't think we have that much innovativeness, do we? We really don't. I think we're just going to lose the innovativeness. I think it is what it is. We're not really generating it. It's going to go away at some point anyway. We might as well use it before it goes away. Best thing that can happen for us is... Oh, wow. You guys expanded big time. And you guys are just going to chew up the rest of it. Wow. Ayutthaya is massive now. Khmer might not be long for the world either at this point. Well, I guess if they're not, then it is what it is. Um, I guess we go ahead and take diplomatic technology. I mean, it's a little bit expensive at the moment. But it's not going to get that much cheaper. And it hopefully will help us not have the penalty anymore. Yeah, I, think, I don't think we're taking a penalty anymore. So that is good. And uh, we're about to finish our temple. Okay, there's our temple. It should start giving us more money. It does. Uh, we completed the estate, build a house of worship. Uh, we gained 10 loyalty and one base tax. Nice. Very good at claiming, claiming base tax. We lost our claims. That's okay. I'm not super concerned about the claims right this second. Summon a diet, which we will continue to do. Um, I have a temple. Okay. Is that in, uh, down here? Well, we definitely are going to get a temple here in a bit. So I think that one's an easy one for us to pick up. Get more base tax. Honestly, money's going to be the way we're going to win this. Getting more money is going to be the way we're going to take care of things. Um, wish I could dig into some more of these other ones. Well, okay, wait a minute. Can we get the military power here? You'll lose some loyalty, but they're currently at 53%. Um... We will lose 10 crown land, which we need. We don't want to go below 30, so that would actually hurt us. So we actually need to claim it. We need to seize a little bit more land here in a bit. Why are, oh, we're not at peace because we're actually technically at war because our, our, our leaders are at war. So I guess we'll wait till that goes away. And then we will probably click that button. It's going to lower the merchant guilds. It's going to cause a little bit of a riot. But again, our overlords should take care of us and so i'm not super concerned about that okay hopefully we can build a house of worship down here very very soon clergy state modifier deit summon has expired okay deit summoned deit summoned their influence is down okay so some influence went down that's fine i guess for now Still not at peace, though. Unhappiness among the peasantry. We can get some, lose some stability, but gain some prestige. Or we can just lose some ducats. I really don't want to lose the prestige. Or uh, Honestly, we can, we're at plus three stability. Losing a little bit of stability is not going to hurt that much. And it would actually be gaining prestige. I said that backwards. So I guess we'll do that. It's not the end of the world. Um. Okay, so there's peace. So we should be able to seize land now. Again, the Merchant Guild will go negative, but everybody else should be okay. And this will get us up to 40% so we can actually click a button with the uh, ability to get some military power or the merchants. We want to do this. 
This actually lowers their load even more. No, I think we'll go in the military. We can have well, no, we can't afford the minus five right now. We'll wait till they get a little bit higher, and then we'll, we'll worry about that. But again, we got we got protesters, but hopefully Khmer will come down here and help us. Uh, can I invest in a new idea? I mean, is there any reason to dig into these? Probably, really not until we get the uh, Renaissance. I don't think. Are we even close to getting Renaissance spread? We're not getting Renaissance spread anywhere, are we? Yeah, we're not. Uh, actually, no, we are getting Renaissance spread. Not to our capital right now, but to the out outer wings, slowly but surely. But I think it's still going to be a while before we do that. So I think continuing to work up the mercenary idea group. We don't really have to rush it, I suppose, but might as well. We might come in handy at some point. All right. Come on, come here. Come help us, please. Uh, okay, so they're actually going to annex us? What is that one says? My trouble is we're going to process of complete annexation of our fair nation. We must fight for our freedom or perish. Okay. Um, well, there's not really a way for us to fight for our freedom. How many US troops do you guys have right now? 21k. I mean, there's no way we can afford mercs. I haven't bought mercs in forever. Man. When was the last time I've done mercs? It's, it's been a very, very long time. Um... Do I remember how to do mercs? Mercs over here, aren't they? Recruit mercs. Okay, so some of these have no generals. The ones with generals are actually more expensive. I mean, we need we need a lot more troops than what we're seeing here, to be honest. From the free company tradition. I mean, there's just no way we can pay for any of this stuff. We need we need a lot more money to be able to afford any of these things. I mean, we've got a little bit of time, but I do need Camara to come down here and deal with this mess. We don't have an infinitude of time right now. <laughs> Army force limit is six, so we actually wouldn't be able to get that big of a troop. Hmm. This might be the end of our game. I don't think there's much we can do about it. And he's not coming down here to help us. Uh, gain some influence. Yeah, we lost our conquest. I guess going to war with them would have been a good thing to do. So maybe that's what we should do is pull them into war so that Mean comes down here and beats up on them. That might be our only hope. Um, let's bring you back. And then we're going to have you uh, build a spy network here. See if we can get a claim back there again. And then we're going to just declare war with whatever we got available. He's just not coming down here to help with us. All right, help us, is he? He's really determined not to help us at all. That's a little strange. I mean, are we going to have to build up some troops? I was hoping that we wouldn't have to. I guess we could buy, grab a mercenary group real quick and deal with these guys and then get rid of them. It is not ideal, but I don't know what other choice we have right now. All right, obviously they have no morale. So what did you just take some bunch of land? 
Mm. Yeah, I think you took some land, didn't you? Yeah. Or did you? Maybe, maybe you did. Maybe I misunderstood what that meant. Alright, we're going to try and jump on these guys. I don't know that we can do much here. I hate that we're paying for these guys right now, but it is what it is. Alright, I guess we're going to have to try and siege this back, unfortunately. Which is going to cost us even more money. I should have just done the mercenary sooner. I honestly thought they were going to come down and help us. <laughs> I was putting all my hope in that. That did not happen. Alright, go ahead and replicate a claim. Well, at least we now have a claim. And we will we'll try to declare war here in a bit, if it'll let us. Actually, it might not even let us, since we're not actually our own person. I haven't even tried to. I just kept been clicking the declare war there. I haven't actually been trying to see if it will actually let us. We'll get this back first, and then we'll figure it out. Hoping I can pull them into a war and just mess them up a bit, you know what I mean? For no other reason than just be, be mean. Oh, General passed away. Really? 57%? Come on now. Alright. Got that back. Does that give us any land back at all? No, we're still only at 37%. I thought we got more than that earlier. I guess we'll have to click this button again at some point. Um, all right, let's come up here and let's declare war. Just if we can. If I don't even know if we can. If we can't, then we're just going to have to accept the fact that we're going to die at some point. It doesn't tell me that we can't. Oh, we don't have a... I'm dumb. We don't have a guy sitting here ready to help us out. I was like, what? I'm not seeing any error messages. What am I missing? Probably the fact that we don't have a dude. Oh, still can't do it. Okay. I mean, I, I, I would understand that we can't. Like, that makes sense to me. Okay, so it does tell us down here. I was hoping it would tell us up here that we can't fight our own war. But it doesn't tell us until we actually have it with the confirm button. That's a little... I feel like that should be cleaned up a little bit. All right, well, then we are definitely done for. We'll play it out. See what happens. But it, we are obviously not going to live to fight another day. Uh, I guess we'll disband this unit. We don't need you anymore. We're being annexed. Here we go. Well, we did our best. Um, we did get the two nations neighboring, like I said, which was great. If we had gotten them, we could have might have been able to hold off against the Khmer. We just we never we just couldn't have an opportunity. It was just never a chance. They got there before we could. I think if we played this again, we could figure out how to how to make it work. I think we could figure this out at some point. But as it stands, we just, you know, you almost have to get it, get lucky like once, right? I don't know. That's like a, cons a, a something that we can like be consistent with. Um, I mean, I'll definitely take the base tax, take it from manpower. Uh, let's, um, go back here and let's just keep working on neighboring and threatening and whatever else in between. Unassigned merchant, huh? Well, yeah, I know I have an unassigned merchant, but I don't think there's anywhere for the merchant to go. Oh, is there really?
surprises me. Okay. Surprised me a bit. Was not expecting us to be able to do anything with you. Alright, so completed the agenda. Good stuff. Some of the D yet again. We'll give him some more loyalty, get him back positive at least. Um, what is this one? Base tax of at least eleven? Oof. Base production of at least six. This will give the Lamerchi Guild more loyalty, which would actually be good for us. So I think we'll do that. Base production of at least six. And down here. So we'll finish that one quickly. Get some ducats out of that. And did I not complete it? All right, I should have completed that. We're up to 42, which means we could see some land again here in a bit to get up to above where we want to be over here. I mean, the only other thing we can do is just to build up as big a military as we can, even though we're going to go over. And just to try to declare war on the Khmer. Which I suspect will not go very well, but you never know. Kind of want to build up a pretty big military here. We are not war with the Ming. What? <laughs> You're at war with the Ming? Okay. Good luck with that, friend. Can we, like, declare for independence now? <laughs> Must have at least 50 liberty desire. While in a war together. Okay, while we're in a war together. So what? what is our liberty desire? Can we, where would we see that? Presumably that's under us somewhere. I don't even know where Liberty Desire falls. Um, relations. Hmm. Where would we see our Liberty Desire? <laughs> uh, is it under? Can't be under them, would it? Would it? Convince the target they need to get independence, but where, how do we get our own liberty desire? I actually have no idea where that would be. I've never, never been in this situation before. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, there's just too many negatives. Too many negatives. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what this mean, this war is going to end up doing. Hopefully they come down here. Maybe they'll release us. That would be pretty incredible if they released us. The fact that we have no military is hurting them. <laughs> so it's actually helping our cause in a way. More mercenaries will be available for 10 years. Okay, whatever. That's fine. The fact, yeah, so it's good for us to not have a military. In a weird way. All right, we can build more improvements. Uh, I guess we'll just build another temple. It's not worth a lot, but every little bit's going to help, I suppose. New idea group, which I don't think we're going to right now because we're still working on technology stuff. Potentially, well, plus 20%. We still haven't embraced the Renaissance. It's really not expanding. Well, it's expanding slowly down here. Not in a big hurry. So I guess we will do some ideas as things start to cap out here in a bit. Come on, Ming. Rescue us, Ming. You're our only hope. 
Why is why, what is the Ming doing? All right, let me slow down because I can't watch this that fast. <laughs> what is the Ming doing? Start whooping up on him, please. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, Ming, start sieging. Oh, consort has died. I find it unlikely that our Ming will will uh, save us, but not impossible. But they have to hurry. All right, they're sieging us down right now, which is fine. I mean, it's not great, but you know we're part of the group, so I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. Come on, Ming. What are y'all doing? Can I help you? Can I just give it to you? <laughs> Speed you up a little bit? I don't think they're going to get it in time. No. Come on, me. Stop running around in circles and see something. There you go. I would be shocked if they could, if they do anything good for us. There's no way, right? There's no way. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick cut in there. We'll come back and we'll see if we're still alive in the next episode. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for EU4. As we continue our run here with Raid, this might be our last episode. We'll see what Ming's doing. Uh, I'm hoping that Ming will release us here in a bit. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> there might. I, it's unlikely, but not impossible, that they would release us as a nation, which would be pretty crazy. If they release us and then break off some bits of Khmer here, that would be an interesting uh, turn of events in this story of ours. So we're going to play it out. We're going to see what happens here. Obviously, they're sieging us down at the moment, but they have to in order to get some more war score, so that's fine. Oh, are you sieging them down? Um, I'm going to take siege ability. I don't want fort defense because I don't want to slow down this siege right here. I want the siege to progress because really our only hope is that they hear up and finish this off very quickly here. All right. Minus 46%, right? Yeah. Come on. Keep going. If I start getting either of these that will uh, greatly speed things up as well. All right, they got that one. 60%. Come on, Ming. Stick with it. Watching the AI siege stuff down is kind of humorous. <laughs> They're not very good at it, are they? 81%. 80%. No, come on, hurry up. Come on, Ming. Don't give up. We need you. Uh, I guess we'll gain the mercantilism. And invest in new technology. Uh, still very expensive. So we're going to hold off until we get like maxed out and then we'll start doing some more ideas stuff at that point. Come on, Ming. 94%. Come on, Ming. Done such a good job. Don't give up now. I mean, I'm tempted to like hire some mercenaries to lose to them so they get more war score off of them. <laughs> killing us. Oh, it's so evil. Come on, Ming. Are they going to have to get... What did they do? Did they just piece out white piece? Please tell me they didn't piece out white piece. Didn't say what they did here. Uh, okay, so they didn't do anything with us. So we're just going to be annexed. All right, fair enough. That was our only hope. I thought there was a chance. But we'll play this out. I mean, a short episode. That's all right. So what happens? What happens when we just die? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's being down here. I was like, what? I didn't even notice that they were down here. Oh, interesting.
There we go. That was it. Wow. Alrighty. Well, we tried. <laughs> it was interesting. It would have been cool if he hadn't tried to annex us, right? If he hadn't started annexing us, we could have figured out how to play it out. Oh, that was a weird quit. All right. Well, that is that. I guess I'll tack this on to the end of the last episode. But uh, I was if Ming had released this, that would have been such an epic way for us to continue that story. I don't know what we're going to do. I need to figure out a better way to... I don't know if we can do raid at all. I might have to do some test games as raid and then, like, figure it out from there. I don't know if I can do another video with raid. Because I don't want to, like, be disappointing, right? I don't want to, like, start it and then just, like, obviously fail. So I need to figure out if there's even... Like, if I can do that test run and get them where they are established, then maybe I can start a recording from that point. But that sounds sad, right? That sounds sad to, uh, to have you guys miss all the fun, so... I'll think about it. I'll either try a few more test runs with Raid, see if there's any way possible to expand them, or I will, um, I'll just try something different. I might just try something different, honestly. It was fun for a minute to figure out what, what could be done, but it just seems like it's going to be too impossible down there in that particular part of the world. So, all right. Well, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.